Hello everybody, Yandros here with a new Source Filmmaker tutorial showing how to add portals into Source Filmmaker. Here you have a quick preview. <laughs> so, let's get uh, into the action. So, first of all, well, you have to select anything in your scene and uh, in your shot, okay? And then you right click, go to the rig menu and you click on add portal by Yandros and it will add the portal at the root of the map I'm sorry I haven't changed it yet so here in stage is pretty easy in other maps well it might look very far but you just have to reposition it so uh, what my script has added is the portal so here you have can see the portal uh, well a tracker I will explain it later the portal camera so that's what the, the portal is uh, looking at, okay? So here is, let's say for example, the portal is looking at the turret. Well, it will be shown in the, in the portal. And a scene camera, which works with the scene camera tracker, but I'll explain it later. Uh, just because it's very important that the scene camera is your current uh, scene camera here. If you, let's say, for example, you were working with camera one and have done a lot of work with camera one and don't want to just copy all the work into a scene camera, what you could actually do. Well, uh, it doesn't matter because you can actually, if you execute the script from the uh, from a camera, it will rename that camera to scene camera and it will work with that camera as, it, as if it was the, the scene camera. So now that we have our portal, let's position it. Okay. Against the wall. The wall. By the way, you can change the color of the portal uh, with uh, the skin submenu, okay? Just, uh, well, to let you know that. And now the portal camera, uh, okay. Let's just add it here. Put a rotation of Zero, 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 zero. Is that it? Okay. Uh, actually, nope, it's not it. <coughs> Let's try negative 90 here. Okay, yeah, I've cheated. I know that value. So here we have the portal camera, and as you can see, well, we have our portal. Well, we can actually adjust the field of view. I like doing it with lenses, it's quick and good looking so the problem here is that the portal is looking like a painting so let's say there is a player a character here moving well uh, yeah. the portal is not a pain painting so this looks actually awkward so we can actually adjust that we just have to use the scene camera tracker feature so what we got to do is uh, I'm gonna move the scene camera to the portal be sure to select only position when you're zeroing it now you can unlock that and let's move it a little bit behind the behind the portal yeah, the value isn't really important as long as it's non uh, non zero it's fine and now we just have to uh, right uh, click first on the scene camera tracker root transform dag then while pressing control in order not to lose the selection we select the transform uh, dag of the portal camera then we right click dag utilities menu constraint orient and now we can hide the scene camera tracker. Uh, okay, it's not really that important now. 
And now, if you look at this, uh, okay, let's just uh, switch the cameras here. As you can see, it's no longer painting. It's uh, moving with the view of the player. It does not adjust the field of view with the distance of the portal yet. I will try to add it later. So if you want to work on that too, you will have to do it uh, manually. And by the way, this only works my scene camera tracker orient constraint uh, uh, tip only works if the portal camera is in the same direction that the portal is. If there were like let's say 90 degrees, it wouldn't work. So you would also have to do it manually. But well, you can use the fact that there is a portal camera tracker, a uh, scene camera tracker, sorry, uh, which will always uh, be aiming at the scene camera. So I think that's pretty useful for whatever use you want to do. Okay, so that's almost all. Well, as you can see, there is a hidden control. It's the portal itself. Uh, you can't really move it because uh, there is, it's rigged to the frame. If you want to move it, you just have to deta detach rig. And now you can move the frame, uh, the, the portal itself. It's not really that interesting, except, uh, I don't know, if you want to make... Uh, portal up here, let's say, for example, scale control to model, uh, you will have the root transform scale, let's put a bookmark here, bookmark here, let's come back to the bookmark here, and scale it very slow, it's mode, well, mm, it's a pretty li little bit slow, but here, yeah. It could actually work as a spawner, you know. Uh, that's one of the features you could actually do. Well, let's undo all that. Okay. Uh, you have a second skin for the RT portal. It's a custom image. So, well, you may wonder what's the point of putting a custom image inside uh, the portal. The fact is that my smart portal, actually the render target camera portal, I mean uh, this one, uh, there cannot be more than one uh, RT, RT camera, so all the portals, if you add more, they will show the same thing. So, and by the way, if you try to execute my script twice, well, it won't allow you to do so. So, if you wanna work with two portals in the same uh, shot in the same view you will have to well to cheat so i don't know you could uh, for example uh, take a screenshot i don't know uh, take a render a poster of the situation so you have a tga poster so let's say our tga poster is that one and then you open custom vtf file import you take the poster exported. So, well, it's not the case here, but it's not that uh, that important. You be sure to uncheck the auto create VMT file, and then you can uh, save as custom VTF. Yes, replace. And if you come back here, it uh, okay. If you come back here and you change the skin, as you will see, nothing has changed. Why? Well, because we haven't updated the materials. To do so, you have to type mat uh, backspace uh, reload all materials in the console. Just Google it if you don't really know how to do it. Uh, I will try to add a script here to reload all materials also. It should work. So here you have uh, the custom image. So, and by the way, uh, it's only the this circle inside your square that will be rendered onto the portal. So here you have the UV, lay UV layout if you ever need it. And uh, finally, the only thing that I want to add is the monochrome portal. So here is also, yes, just one color portal that you can put uh, here. And well, it either will be white. I don't know why you would need it, but let's say, I don't know, maybe you just want to have a tracker of your 
portal camera because portal camera is invisible. So you could add a white portal here just for you to help you. And the second skin is more useful is a green screen, uh, green, yes, green screen uh, skin for uh, After Effects stuff if you want to create portals using that. Well, I think uh, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, Source Filmmaker tutorials. Uh, well, have a nice day.